Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the garage. Hope you're all having a great day. Thank you for checking back in. I got a little story for you. So I went out to pick out some parts and some pieces to fix a leak on my front differential on my 2004 GMC Envoy, sitting right out there in the dark. So for some time now, my front differential has been leaking and it's not the easy seal. It's actually the seal on the inboard side of that front differential where the differential mates to the oil pan. And this is the seal right here. It's a relatively cheap, a relatively inexpensive part. Uh, I went with the, uh, the GM, and you can see the part number right here, 12471617. So it is, again, a, a very simple part, very simple seal to replace. However, to get to that seal, I have to take off the front differential, and to do that, I've got to take off a lot of stuff because the brilliant engineers at GM decided to put the intermediate shaft through the oil pan that goes, of course, through the front differential. So I've got to take all that stuff off. But that's not the story I wanted to tell you guys. So as I said, I went out to pick up some parts, pick up my new full synthetic 75W90 gear oil for my front differential, had a couple kids with me, and went through the drive through at McDonald's. Now, my car decided it wanted to act up, so it stuttered, it stalled, no problem, I fired it right up, but when I fired it up, the car sounded like I just put a big cam in it, or two cams actually, cars have two cams in these motors. Anyway, so I got home and listened to the exhaust, and I've had this happen to me once before, and I'm 95, 96% confident that I have a cylinder down. Now, whether that means the spark plug went bad, or the coil pack went bad, or a combination of the two, or something completely different, I don't know. But we are going to check out the code, the check engine code, with my little OBD2 Bluetooth scan tool. And here's a little Bluetooth scan tool that I have. It's a simple pan long. Uh, Bluetooth OBD2 diagnostic tool that you just plug into the OBD2 port on your car and it hooks up or it connects to the app on my phone. Now this app, well, the uh, uh, the OBD2 scan tool was I think about 20 bucks off of Amazon. I'll have a link down in the description below if you guys want to check this out. Now this app here, this Torque app, there are two versions. There are, of course, the free version, but also the pro version, which I sprung and spent $15 on, and it has been invaluable ever since I bought it. Here we are underneath the driver's side of the car, and most OBD2 ports are pretty, uh, pretty close to this one right here, but mine on my 2004 GMC Envoy is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my little Bluetooth scan tool right into that port and you can see the light uh, hopefully yeah there you go so you can see the light is flashing red so that means it is reading and then we're gonna come over here to the to the app we're gonna hit the key And we're going to check the fault codes, hit scan, and we have, as I suspected, oh, hold on, a P0304 powertrain code, and this is telling me I have cylinder 4 misfire. Alright, so there it is, just as I suspected, a misfire in my engine. It happens to turn out to be cylinder four. I think what I'm going to do while I'm in there diagnosing is go ahead and clean out the throttle body, you know, just while I'm in there. I think, uh, I think I've got to remove that anyway to get to cylinder four. Um, but anyway, so there it is. This little OBD2 
uh, scan tool is is a great little tool to have in your bag the you know this I didn't intend this video to be like a product review or you know product placement video or anything like that but you know this little 15 20 dollar Bluetooth scan tool is really helpful you know it just helped me diagnose pinpoint which cylinder misfire I had and you know bigger picture also let me know what those trouble codes are what your check engine light codes are on your vehicle you know it can really save you if you're in a bind um, so stay tuned guys we're gonna do uh, you know as I said tomorrow got a big day planning to do the uh, uh, replace that seal on the front differential hopefully that goes relatively smoothly and now you know kind of a, a, a unfortunate fortunate event now I've got to dig into that misfire code and um, you know who knows I'll have some more content for you guys coming up so as always, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think I need to do. I think, uh, well, I'm hoping it'll be as simple as a coil pack replacement, but uh, that is yet to be seen. So guys, stay tuned. Thank you for stopping by the video, and I'll see you on the next one.